Okay, today we're going to look at three different oil filters. They come in different boxes, different prices, different names, but I think they're all the same oil filters. And we'll open them up and find out. But first, I'll just give you how much they cost and where you can get them. The Pro Select oil filter, number 21356, you can get at Napa for $5.99. The one in the middle, the ProTech, number PTL51356, and you can get that at Rock Auto for $1.76 plus shipping. And the one on the right, the FVP oil filter, number R1356, you can also get that at Rock Auto for $2.32 plus shipping. But you may be able to find these filters cheaper somewhere else. And today we're going to open these three oil filters up. We'll look inside them and just see if they're all the same or if they're different. So let's get started. This is a network. You got a really good silicone, a nice pipe. Get your inner here. Okay, let's start with the Pro Select from Napa. And we got here it says Pro Select commercial filters, solid metal base plate, safety bypass valve, anti drain back valve, filtration media, steel coil spring when applicable. Alright, let's take a look at her, see what she looks like. The date card is gonna be hard to read on here because it's it's like stamped, engraved. But I'll read it. 07 28 21 AR2. And this is printed on. It says Napa right on it. it. Also says made in Mexico. She has eight inlet holes, metal core with louvers, bypass valve down below, and nitro rubber gasket, which is on here pretty good so I, can, I don't have fingernails too there they go pretty thick also yeah that all looks good and grooves here about four grooves yeah so it's good for threads okay let's look at the ProTech and there really isn't anything on this box that's very important an address here North Carolina. Uh, yeah, nothing really. Also, this one's hard to read too, so. 052821 AR1. This one's also printed. And made in Mexico. Also, eight inlet holes. Metal core with louvers, bypass valve down below, nitro rubber anti drain back valve, nitro rubber gasket, which I'm going to compare all three of these, but they're on there pretty good. Okay, let's look at the FBP. Low resistant to a flow. Maximum efficiency, maximum capacity. Now let's open it up and see what this one looks like. And all these three of these filters are really made for conventional oil. Let's see if I can read it. It says right there, I don't know if you guys can read this. Made in Mexico. 012321 AR1. And this one's got a sticker. So it's a little bit different. But this one's also made in Mexico. Eight inlet holes, metal core with louvers, bypass valve down below, nitro rubber anti drain back valve, and nitro rubber gasket. Which are on there. These gaskets are on pretty good. If you get good fingernails, you can get them off easy. But now look at these gaskets. Don't they look similar there? You can see these guys all look similar. Let's see if I can hold all three of them at once. <laughs> there, hold them like this. There you go. Yeah, we got a triangle. See what they look like inside. I have a feeling they all they're all the same. 
All three are the same. What do you guys think? Be right back. Okay, I'm convinced that all three of these filters are the same, but there's just a slight difference between the three of them. And I'll show you what I mean. One difference is the weight. Okay, the FBP weighs 205 grams. Pro Select weighs 200 grams. And the ProTech weighs 200 grams. But that's only 5 grams difference. That's not really much. And the pleats are different. Um, the FBP has 42 pleats. The Pro Select has 44 pleats. And the ProTech has 43 pleats. We'll look at these. Look at the base plates. I'm not going to weigh the, all these up because it's going to take too long. But I'm going to show you guys that these things are the same. Let's, let's look at these gaskets. You can see they're, they're yeah, these three are the same. They're the same thing. Same size, same markings. So these are the same. They're nice uh, gaskets. Nothing wrong with that. Base plates. They have these. I should just go with uh, one filter, just show one filter in that way. Um, let's go with the Napa. So I'll just show you guys that. We'll go with Napa. We'll just weigh the one Napa filter. Check out the base plate. 82 grams is a nitro rubber gasket, which these guys fit on nicely. It stays on there. Yeah, see that? And they're all identical. I'll show you that to them later. They all have one of these, which weighs six grams. The filter media. Like I said, the Napa has 44 pleats, metal crimp seam. And the Napa website, metal end caps. A little bit of glue here, not bad. The Napa website doesn't have any um, filtration numbers on this filter, but it does say it's a cellulose media. Now the other two filters, Rock Auto says uh, does have a filtration number. They all have, they all say cellulose though. Between Rock Auto's website and Napa's website, all three say cellulose filter media. And the FBP says it's a 21 micron, whereas the Protex says it's a 95% at 29 microns. Okay, let's go back to this one, the Napa. All three have coil springs. The can weighs 42 grams. Coil spring is 8 grams. And I'm not going to weigh them all individually because that will take too long. But, um... So, you know, you guys can look at these. They're, they're the same. The only difference here is the color. You can see the color difference here on the FBP. It's got um, two less pleats. So you can see it's got some big spaces here. A lot of glue there. We got all the excess glue inside there. And if we take the ProTech, match them up here, so you'll see that the ProTech is lighter also. I'll try to put the numbers up above here so it's easier to understand. I can't remember them all in my head. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, they got the same bypass valves. They're basically the same. You know, you got 54 grams there. 56 grams. I mean, a gram or two is nothing because it's that's just could be the glue. It could be anything, really. You know, they all the can the same. I'll get the can thickness. They all got the coil springs. So I was getting 40 point 42 millimeters. Point 44 point 41 millimeters for the can. And the filter media. One point six zero inches wide. Try another one. It's probably 
Yeah, see, they're right on. They're all the same. You know, they got the same. Everything's the same on them. What I'll do is I'll cut them. I'll cut these filters open, stretch them out, and we can you can look at everything. You'll see it all laid out. So I'll be right back. Okay, this is the FVP oil filter. I think I know why it weighed more than the other ones because it's slobbered with glue. There's a bunch of glue in here. This filter media is glued right to the core. So I'm gonna. Um, I'm going to try to take it off carefully and not tear it. I just wanted to show you guys this. See that? Glued right on there. Alright, we'll be right back. Okay, so here they are stretched out. And the Napa Pro Select is 37 and a quarter inches long. The Pro Tech is 36 and a half inches long. And the FVP is 35 and three quarter inches long. Okay, let's start with the thickness and we'll start with FVP. Point six three millimeters. The Protec is point six one millimeters. And the Napa Pro Select is point five eight millimeters. I'll get a little more though. Yeah, 0.59 millimeters. Let's look at these guys up close. And the uh, Napa Pro Select and the Pro Tech look very similar. The FBP looks darker. It's got different filter media, although it's pretty much the same thickness. And let's look at these under a microscope. And as you can see, these filter medias have some light spots in them. So they're not the greatest. And, you know, the filtration numbers probably isn't, ain't, all the, ain't all there, but... Alright, let's look at the rest of the filter here. And as you can see, all three look identical. We got the same writing on them. Parker right there, Parker. Yeah, these are the same folks, same same base plates, same everything. So what do these look like? Let's take uh, this FVP. What's this look like all together? Looks like that. And then you go like that. It's a big space there, isn't there? Look at that. A lot of wasted space, I think. And you got the coil spring under here. I believe these had a bypass valve here at the base end. That's why they have the spacer. And that's why they have the coil spring. And they changed them over. They changed them over to this design. But I think originally they had the bypass valve at the base end. So there you have it. Three filters, different boxes, different prices, pretty much the same filter. If I was going to pick out of these three, I think I'd take the ProTech. It's the cheapest. It's a dollar sixty something. But you know, all three of these are just like your entry level oil filters. So they're they're good for like three to five thousand miles. I wouldn't go over that. I also wanted to mention when I was cutting these open, this filter, the FVP, Look, the paint was coming off, so it's like uh, wherever this was made. Cause I'm sure these are made in the same place, same factory, but maybe different, different machines. They did they did a lousy paint job on this one. <laughs> and the bypass valve too. I forgot to tell you guys what the setting. The setting on this bypass valve was eight to eleven psi. So what do you guys think about these filters? Well, I think I'll wrap this video up. Don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and take care.
The filter media for the FVP oil filter weighs 6 grams. The filter media for the Protec oil filter weighs 6 grams. The filter media for the Napa Pro Select oil filter weighs 6 grams.